Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Irtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making another Greek classic. Why are the classics always my favorite? I keep saying my favorite, but this really is one of my favorites. Lachano dolmades are basically cabbage leaves that are stuffed with rice and herbs and meat, and then they're topped with avgolemono sauce, which is a tangy, lemony, creamy sauce that is just so good. If you've ever had Greek lemony chicken soup, it's pretty much that same flavor. Overstuffed cabbage leaves. So good, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin with the cabbage. So you wanna carefully take the core out of the cabbage. If you could find bigger cabbages than I have and that aren't so compact, you're gonna have a much better experience. This is all I could find in my supermarket and it'll work, but I'll use two so that way I can make sure I have enough leaves. Anyway, we're gonna carefully take the core out. I'm using a serrated knife for this because I don't have a paring knife at home and you don't want to use a chef's knife for this because it's too dangerous. Just carefully slice around the core. It's going to pop out and then you could slice out whatever's left of the core inside the cabbage. You can get it out with your knife. That way the leaves release easily. Get a pot of water boiling and then add some salt to it. Carefully put that cabbage in there one at a time. The cabbage will boil in there for about 15 minutes. After 10 minutes, the leaves will be very easy to remove. So carefully remove them and put them in a colander. Let them sit in there. Do this very slowly so that way the leaves don't tear so much. When you get down to the bottom part, which is the core, just don't try to separate that. You won't be able to. Just take it out and set it aside. You could chop it into the filling if you want or save it for some other recipes. While the cabbage leaves cool, we're gonna make the filling. So I don't pre-cook the filling, it's very simple to make. I'll just put two pounds of ground beef in a bowl with a cup or 200 grams of risotto rice. I'm using arborio rice, you can use carolina rice. Your favorite rice will work over here, but the shorter grain rice is better for this. It just makes a creamier filling. I finely chopped an onion, so I'll add that in, and then I finally chopped some parsley. Normally, I would do this in the food processor, but I have so much going on today, I did not feel like washing one more thing or taking the food processor out, so I just finally chopped it by hand the best I could. We're gonna season everything with salt and freshly cracked black pepper, a teaspoon of dried dill, and just mix everything all together. You could drizzle some olive oil into the filling if you'd like, but just mix everything all together until it's all combined really well. And now let's assemble the lacana dolmadas, or the cabbage rolls. So we're gonna take one leaf at a time and cut off the stem, like the bottom part that's really thick. You wanna cut that out because it's, it'll keep the leaves from rolling up and it's, a, it's too tough. So just discard that. Then we're just gonna take about a tablespoon and a half or so of the filling. I just like to form it into like a little elongated meatball, if you if you will, and put that on the bottom. Roll it up, roll up the sides too to cover it, and then just keep doing this until all of the filling is used up. You might have a little bit left over if you have too many torn up leaves, but try to, if you have very big leaves, you can slice them in half and then you can make two rolls with it. You can fill these thinner if you like, like stuffed grape leaves, like we do like that. But I grew up eating these a little bit on the chunkier side and more like hearty. So that's why I'm making them bigger. Okay, you're gonna take the torn up leaves and you can line the bottom of your pot with them. Then go ahead and arrange the cabbage leaves on top. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the cabbage rolls and then season them lightly with some salt. Then you can take a plate and invert it over the top of of the cabbage rolls. This is gonna keep everything in place while it's boiling on the stove top later on. Pour enough either chicken stock or water. I'm using chicken stock today because it has so much more flavor, but pour enough to make sure that the rolls are completely covered. A quart of chicken stock was enough and you can add a little bit more water if you don't have enough in there. Bring these to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to a low simmer and put the lid on top and let these cook for 45 minutes to an hour. I would take it all the way up to the hour just so that way they cook completely all the way through. You're still gonna have lots of broth in there. Carefully take out as many of the cabbage rolls as you can to get down to that broth that's left in there because we're gonna make the egg lemon sauce now, the avgo lemono sauce. All you need are three egg yolks. You could save the whites for something else. A tablespoon and a half of cornstarch and fresh lemon juice. I've juiced lots of lemons for this. I am gonna have leftover lemon juice just in case I want them a little bit more lemony. But you can start with a quarter cup of lemon juice and add more later on if you want it a little bit more uh, lemony and fresh and whisk that all together. Take some of the hot stock that's from the pot 
and temper the egg yolks and whisk everything all together until it's smooth. You can put the cabbage rolls back into the pot and carefully pour the egg lemon sauce on top. You can shake the pot so that way it distributes evenly. And then cook this for about five minutes until the sauce thickens. So if you like a little bit more of a soupier sauce, you could add more stock to this. But this is exactly the way I like it. There's enough sauce for each of the cabbage rolls. And as it sits, it is gonna thicken a little bit more and the cabbage rolls will absorb a lot of that sauce. So you can fix it up later on if you'd like, but these are ready to serve. And that's it. Our lajano dolmades are ready to be served and I cannot wait to take a bite. Every time I'm visiting my mom in uh, New York, she makes a pot of these for me because they're my favorite. Along with moussaka, pastizio, <laughs> so many, but this is so good. So delicious, comforting. The cabbage leaves are so tender and slightly sweet. I love the taste of cabbage. But with the lemon sauce, it's just tangy and, and they're creamy also from the cornstarch that's in there and the egg yolks. And the meat filling is really tender too. If you tried my um, yuvarlakia, which is my Greek meatball soup, it's kind of like one of those meatballs uh, wrapped in cabbage leaves. That's, that's pretty much what it tastes like. I hope you give this recipe a try and you let me know what you think. You can print this on my website, DimitrisDishes.com. All that's needed with this is some bread. If you want to toast some bread on the side and that's it, it'll be ready for your family to enjoy. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us. Kaliorexi.